Well, all right, guys. <clears throat> Tonight we're having uh, barbecued chicken and asparagus, all done in a tiny toaster. And then, as soon as we're finished with that, we're gonna drain and uh, rinse and uh, sample these pear, these fermented pears. And my buddy Oki Rob, he's uh, he is some kind of worried about that celery. He's uh, he's absolutely scared to death that uh, that it's gonna make the whole batch taste like celery. I'm telling you, that ginger is uh, is overpowering. Uh, it, everything will have a little bit of a taste like itself, but the ginger is just gonna be uh, there. So anyway, ginger celery, ginger uh, 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 cauliflower, ginger carrots. And ginger pears and I actually like celery so anyway I'm gonna eat me some what would you call it when it's not quite supper but it's after lunch slupper lupper I don't know anyway we're gonna rinse this off in just a minute and I'm gonna have my Barbecue chicken and garlic asparagus. Yum. Hello, cell phone. Well, all right, guys. <clears throat> Had myself a bite to eat. And uh, how you like my shirt? It's uh, my wife got me this too. She's just awesome. Uh, if any of y'all remember, my original channel was 1952 Jeep. And uh, she got me a Willis orange t-shirt. One of my favorite colors, safety orange. I like safety orange, safety yellow. Uh, two of my favorite things as far as, <clears throat> as, far as my, uh, uh, what would, my wardrobe goes. But uh, anyway, today's laundry day. And uh, <clears throat> actually, this shirt is, uh, is uh, old or uh, dirty. I won't wash this shirt on the road. I will not put it in a uh, washer and dryer. So today was laundry day. I you I wore this shirt when I drove down. So I throwed it on because I was out of clothes and I bicycled up to the laundromat and got my uh, uh, and did my clothes. And anyway, <coughs> it's laundry day. But we are gonna finish up with this. Uh, I'm gonna take my little handy dandy road colander and I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna disinfect my sink which I've done a half a dozen times uh, this trip but it's uh, you never know what the maid might do you know she might uh, clean the toilet out with the scrub brush and then rinse it off in the bathroom sink you just never know so every time I do any kind of prep work in there I'll take a good uh, antibacterial uh, uh, I'll clean things up good anyway so <clears throat> I'm not gonna try to I'm not gonna put y'all in the shower I mean why you know it's really the only way in a hotel room to <laughs> show you what's going on in the bathroom is uh, is to sit y'all in the shower uh, so uh, I'm gonna go in there and uh, disinfect everything uh, drain and rinse and uh, be right back and we're going to do a taste test i am really interested on seeing how those pears taste so uh give me just a few actually through youtube magic it won't take but just a second see y'all in a second well, all right guys <clears throat> we uh got everything rinsed off we got the uh order pile on ready to uh ready to travel uh I get to leave and go home. Got to go see the uh, cardiologist uh, uh, next Monday. So uh, travel back home, and uh, they say there's work there. We'll see uh, how long that might last. Uh, but uh, there ain't much work in Alabama, that's for sure. But all right, got this little guy full, and this little guy full, and this little guy about half full. So that'll make for some delicious snacks uh, traveling back home and uh,
The celery tastes like salty celery ginger. It's good. If you notice how crunchy it is, it actually uh, stays that way. I mean, I don't know if I mentioned it in the past videos, but the first batch I made was at Christmas time. I was home for Christmas. I just got it, got the uh, the uh, crock, and uh, I uh, loaded up and headed out before it was done. So my beautiful wife, she took and she uh, rinsed it off and put it in the refrigerator, and it lasted two to three weeks, uh, just in these containers sitting in the refrigerator till I got back. She had some. She actually ate about half of it. Uh, she put it in her salads and stuff. It gave her a nice little spicy. Uh, gingery salty flavor for uh, for her salads that she does and uh, and and like I say uh, it, it keeps it keeps really long I mean you know you you, you can imagine a, a head of cauliflower in your uh, refrigerator how long is that gonna last maybe a week before it starts getting the, the uh, black spots on it but uh, but anyway uh, carrots crunchy as can be celery same thing celery cauliflower good grief did I just call that celery that's cauliflower oh I love cauliflower hello cell phone just keep talking to me the pears I uh, had to have a bite of the pear I already had a bite of it but uh, look how pretty that turned out and uh, it's a salty ginger pear. It's good. It's all good. And it's going to keep so much longer now that it's been through this process. And uh, anyway, but I had something I wanted to throw out there to you guys. Uh, I really have a hard time getting my wife involved with YouTube, but she's very supportive of it, and uh, I just wish you guys would just uh, throw in the comments, maybe click the thumbs up, you know, uh, thumbs up for Sarah, and uh, and see if maybe that, uh, uh, maybe throw in the comment, you know, just a comment, thumbs up for Sarah, to see if we can't get her to uh, show her cornbread recipe, or maybe her chili, her taco salad recipe she is an incredible cook she is outrageous i'll give her the passwords to to everything and and uh she could sit at home while i'm out of town and uh and uh, upload upload videos on her own if uh but uh i think she might need a little bit of encouragement i mean you know she uh she is very camera shy very camera shy to be as pretty as she is she is just too camera shy so anyway throw a comment down there you know thumbs up for sarah because this is a the croc the shirt heck she's very supportive of what i do on here and uh and uh and anyway i'd love to get her in a video or two i've actually been able to get her hands in one or two videos and and, and there's a there's a there's a she there's a little speaking part in there but she wouldn't let me get get that pretty face of hers in there so anyway that's it for this uh this series uh fermented vegetables i'm gonna tell you they're delicious uh i've still got a lot to learn about this but uh but i'm enjoying it so far like i said this is only my third batch that i've made but uh but it does it helps things out it's delicious it lasts for a really long time once you do the fermentation process and put it in the fridge uh, so uh, you know I, I see nothing I, I, I see nothing but positives about it so like I say I really enjoy it uh, if you guys get a chance give it a try there's lots of different ways to do it there's mason jar ways uh, you can buy a little venting um, screw on mason jar lids and use the uh, half gallon or even the uh, quart uh, mason jar uh, 
to do it there's there's lots of ways to do it tons of videos on here um, my little fancy crocs not the only way to do it uh, and and I'm gonna tell you it is delicious it really is I'm gonna snack on this all week and uh, then I'm gonna snack on it on the way home so uh, I'll see y'all in the next day or two or who knows things get busy at work we may be back in Alabama by the time I see you again. You guys take care. Jason, out. Mmm, yummy.